route, you guys. So I do want to be able to show you guys the difference between the natural tips that I have right here and then the sculpted tips. The difference in the boxes are the sculpted has a gold kind of packaging and on this one it's kind of more black on black. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and compare the shapes that I have. Right now, the ones that we are going to be comparing is sculpted square and natural square. So right here, this right here is a Chan Legend tip. This is the longest that they come in for the square. And these I actually really, really like. They do, I do feel like on the sides you need to shape a little bit once they're on. Um, and then this is going to be a sculpted, a sculpted medium square nail. And you guys can see right there, it has the apex. So that's how that one looks. And for these right here, these two, these are going to be the natural. This one right here is natural medium and this is natural long and they are both in the style square. And with this one, I am going to go ahead and compare these two because they are the same exact length or they're supposed to be the same exact length but the natural square i do feel like it ends up going longer you guys could see it is like almost a whole size longer and i'm going to show you guys from the sides what they look like this right here in this hand is the sculpted and this is the natural and you could see how high the apex is the apex is this part that rounds up at the top you could see that this one doesn't necessarily have that too, too much. Um, I do really like the both of these tips, but for different reasons. I do feel like I tend to use the natural ones a lot more than my sculpted ones. But in preference wise, for myself personally, I do really like the sculpted ones. I like the sculpted ones, just the look of them. I think they look really pretty. But something about these is, like that you need to know is if you are working with somebody who has really flat nail beds, there the heat spike is going to be really, really high on it because you have to fill in all of that product. If you guys don't know what a heat spike it is, what it is, it's when you're curing down the nail under the light and it ends up getting this burst of heat and it feels really, really hot. Some people feel it more than others. It just really depends the thickness of your nail beds and I feel like your pain tolerance also. So with me personally, the heat spike with these, ooh, it is rough. But with these ones over here on this side, I feel like I'm able to get away with it. And I'm still, I still feel it, but I have some clients that don't even feel it on this hand. So, and I also have some people who don't feel it on this hand too, but it just really depends on your pain tolerance, I feel, because, whew, these ones are rough. So I definitely recommend putting a base layer down when you are working with this. It'll kind of help minimize that heat spike a little bit and cure in little, little intervals where you put the light on it, take it off, put the light on it, take it off, put the light on it, take it off. And that will allow the heat spike to be reduced by a lot. So um, just in case you did want to use these. But with these ones, if you do end up trying to put someone, say if they have more of that curved nail bed, they have that perfect natural nail where it has that nice, beautiful shape to it. If you have a nail more like this rather than something flat, I do feel like you might end up wanting to go to the sculpted one just because it does have a lot more coverage on the side of the nail rather than this one would. <laughs> All right, so I do want to share with you guys these because these are also in my collection. They have the sculpted long square. When I had one to go purchase these, I don't know if they had these in natural, but I ended up getting them sculpted just because I felt like I wanted to have them in my kit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and show you guys what they look like. Um, something I do want to mention just because I don't want that to catch you by surprise is actually these are a lot smaller boxes than the ones right here. I'll go ahead and compare them. But the sizes they do go up in this one, it goes all the way up to a double zero and the other boxes only go up to just a zero. So this is what it looks like and still has that really, really nice apex, super, super long, nice square look. I feel like with these ones I don't really have to shape as much. 
but it does kind of give more of a tapered look I feel like definitely the Tron Legend ones I do wish they were a little bit more straighter I do feel like they kind of are kind of wide almost but it also has a nice C curve this one honestly I do feel like it has more of a C curve than any of the other ones but I do want to share that I do feel like with these two right here, the they are the same lengths, but I do feel like they kind of look like each other a lot. So I think each style, it just really depends on what you get. Just because this one right here, it's a natural one. And to me, it looks almost like it could be a sculpted. And this one right here, it is a sculpted. But I do feel like for sure this apex is a lot higher than that one. But this one is a really pretty one to have in your collection. Um, the only thing is with this is since it is sculpted, I do feel like it's a little bit harder to cure that in between layer just because it does have the pigment on there. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and go into the next shade. The box is a lot smaller, so this is great for someone who's DIYing at home. But you could see the big difference in the size of the box. And this one it only comes with 150 pieces in 11 different sizes and normally they only come with 10 different sizes now i'm going to go ahead and go in with the stiletto ones the stiletto ones i do have a lot of different shapes so let me go ahead bear with me you guys so this first box that i have it is jenny secrets um this one is sculpted extra 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 long and this is a soft gel chip comes with 250 pieces in 10 different sizes now these, you guys, these are super, super duper long. Um, they last, they are great. Again, with having to cure down so much product, there is a heat spike in them, but they do have a really high apex on them. You guys could see, could see that this is so high. Like this is how much product needs to be in between there when you are curing this down. And that, honestly, for me, that hurts hurts when i have to do that so i definitely recommend with this one because the apex is so high is to definitely do a few layers before doing the big initial cure of putting that down okay so the next one it is going to be sculpted long and this is another stiletto and this is what it looks like from the side and this is how long it is still has a really really nice shape to it i feel like this length is for somebody who ha likes long nails and doesn't want to exaggerate too too much their nail but this one is for somebody who loves extra extra nails so and this one again is the jenny secret box so it's going to be this holographic one over here in the corner and then this one is the long sculpted stiletto long and then for the next one, this is going to be medium. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, sorry, you guys. I ended up getting a double zero. I added it to my collection because my client at the time that was getting these, she did have really, really big thumbs. So I wanted to get these for her. Okay, so this one right here, this is the medium. And honestly, I think this length is so cute. I would definitely rock these. I love the length of these. I think they're super cute. But this is for, I'm definitely a person who could have short nails. I don't need crazy, crazy long nails. But um, I do love the look of crazy long nails. But I just can't handle it. <laughs> I wish I could. But you could see this is the length the difference. The medium stops down there and the long goes all the way up to there. Unfortunately, I don't have the, the box of the short ones. So this is what these ones look like. And I, the apex definitely on the other, this last one right here is a lot bigger than any of the other ones. <clears throat> okay, so next I will go ahead and show you guys this one. And this is the only one that I actually have in natural. So this is a natural stiletto. I do go through a lot of these. You guys could tell by the box. The box definitely doesn't have any of the tips in here. So this is definitely a popular style, definitely right now. I do feel like this tip, honestly, on these ones, it runs so big. Look how big it is. It almost goes all the way to the side of my nail. So each box I do definitely feel like they run a little bit different. So even in this one, I could probably get 
Okay, so one is kind of more comparable, but this is what it looks like. I definitely do like the sculpted medium better than I do like the stiletto short. So this one is considered the short, but let's compare how it looks. It's just a little bit shorter than the medium. So honestly, and I do feel like with the stiletto short, it rounds out a little bit more. So honestly, I feel like you could get away with having the stiletto box if you do like the sculpted ones. I feel like you're able to get away with having this one and just kind of round it out a little bit because let's see, the Apex, honestly, I do feel like is pretty similar, honestly. Um, I feel like I like the style of the sculpted ones better than the short ones in this one. I haven't tried any of the other ones, but if I do, I will definitely let you guys know. I'll do an updated review. But I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of these ones as well so I could insert it for you guys. Because I don't know if on camera it is a little bit harder to see what I am talking about. Okay. All right, you guys. And so I do want to show you guys these. These are the natural round. These are the closest that I have to the stilettos. I don't have any other round ones. So I did kind of want to show you guys these as well. This color, I believe, is in, or it is in Mace. I have all the different colors here, so you guys are able to see which ones. This one is in Alex. This is a really pretty nude color. And these are all in the natural shape, so these are not going to be sculpted. But these were the, I was, I think I ended up just liking the style of these. And honestly, you guys, with these, I do feel like since you don't have to have such a big, thick layer of gel being cured in between them, I do feel like you're, it's easier to cure them down onto the nail. Because with the sculpted ones, it was a little bit harder for me. But you guys could see the different colors. I'm going to go ahead and put them in their order. So then, just in case you guys want to buy these, I'll go ahead and have them right there. So you can... Oh wait, let me put them up here. Oops. Um, so I have it right there. So you guys are still able to see the colors and maybe pick out the ones that you want. So this one is Mace, this one is Alex, and then this one is Lila. Alright, you guys. So... I'm going to go ahead and put those all to the side. Okay, and the next one that I have is Coffin. Coffin is a tip that unfortunately I don't have in natural whatsoever, actually. So I just have sculpted Coffin in extra, extra long, and then I have it in medium as well. So I did want to go ahead and put these out there so you guys could see. You guys could definitely see that this box is not used quite a bit. So um, this is the longest that they go. Me personally, I don't know what it is, but I'm not really that big of a fan of the coffin ones, unfortunately. I really, for whatever reason, I just really don't like them. Um, me personally on myself, I have clients that they had gotten them and they were happy with them. But me personally, I just am not too crazy about them. And then this is going to be sculpted medium and coffin. And you guys could see that these are, honestly the length of these ones are cute. I actually like the shape of these too. I, but definitely whenever I am doing gelix, I do always end up shaping the tips. Just because I, I feel like every person is so different even though I know these tips, they're made to be like super easy to use and things like that. I do feel like minimal shaping is required just to get the best look with them. So you guys, that is pretty much it for my Gelex collection. Oh, let me take a picture of these for you guys. And then something that I do want to mention with these Gelex tips is this one, it does have like a really crazy C curve. Like look how intense this is. So. Me personally, the now I'm remembering why I didn't like these was actually the reason why I don't like them 
is because the C curve was so tight. I don't know if, if I were to get the natural ones, if I would feel better about it, but this one is too crazy for me. I feel like that's too crazy for me, but this right here is not too bad. This is like a slight C curve and nothing, nothing too, too crazy. So I do like these. And again, these are the sculpted ones. I'm putting these in the wrong boxes. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope this video, it helped you guys be able to pick out the tips that you want. And um, something to know that I do feel like if you want to go shorter than this one, I do feel like you're able to kind of cut them down and they still keep the same strength. But if you want to only get one box and cut them down, if you have like the extra, extra long ones, I definitely don't recommend doing it because if you end up doing it, they end up becoming very, very weak and the apex is no longer there and they just don't look good. So if you're going from like a super long length to super short, I definitely recommend going in and buying a shorter length just because you're going to like the way it looks overall and it'll be less work for you and less work in shaping and things like that so you guys i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video oh and another thing i do definitely not recommend ch completely changing the shape so if you are trying to go from square to round i definitely don't recommend doing it again because the structure i do feel like is not really as good as i'd like it to be i do feel like they flex a lot more they tend to break a lot more and things like that so all right you guys well i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video if this was any help to you make sure to comment down below if there's things that i could fix and make better for you guys i definitely recommend commenting those down in the description below just because i do want my videos to be very informative for you guys and be able to be exactly what you guys want so if you guys haven't already please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe